What's up guys, it's Dakota, and it's Friday, which means that most of you are probably going to either your FNM or sometime this weekend going to a local tournament, trying to get some kind of qualifier and qualifying for either buys at a GP or getting some kind of invite to the SCG Invitational or what have you. And this series might be right up your alley, trying to become either a better player or understanding and giving yourself a little bit more of a competitive edge to give yourself the best chance of winning those tournaments and qualifying for the even bigger ones, whether they are the SCG, Grand Prix, or even the Pro Tour itself. Um, and without further ado, I'm going to kind of get started on one of the most important things that I learned when I started playing, when I went, when I started playing more competitively, I started playing for big, bigger prizes. And that's understanding the metagame and understanding your store's metagame versus the metagame outside to like bigger SCG tournaments with thousand, a thousand plus people and even the Grand Prix where they have almost 2,000 people. And the difference mainly being the, the sample size of people. So when you have your percentages broken down, when it's like 25% is one deck, 25% is the other one, and then 50% is another 10 decks, when you break that down to eight people, that means four people are playing two of the best decks in the format, and the other four are playing the bottom 50. So... In that case, you kind of have a better understanding of like who's playing what, what your percentages of playing what deck are. Again, still the same relatively to a bigger one where still 50% is going to be playing either one of two decks and while the other 50% is going to be playing something else that isn't the top two, you have a, a weirdly a better chance of playing someone who isn't playing one of the two than there is and playing against something that isn't necessarily something that you're going to test against or play against most often. So in bigger tournaments, you obviously play more rounds. The later you go and the more you win, the more you're going to be playing against other people who win, which are more than likely going to be the best decks in the format. So there becomes a, a point where you can kind of understand what you're going to be playing and having an idea of like when and what round you're going to be playing something or someone who has either a deck that's kind of their own sort of thing or it is a meta deck indeed. So one of the things that you have to figure out is what side do you want to be on? Do you want to be in the top percentage, do you want to be playing what is perceived as the best deck, or do you want to be playing a deck that is designed to take down the best decks in the format? And that's kind of where you have to base your decision, and again, it's all dependent on what people play at your store, because while also there being the fact that certain decks are the best decks, in the case of stores that I've been to, the best decks in the format haven't been ones that are overwhelmingly popular. It ends up being some other deck, like Approach, for, for the sake of standard, its Approach is one of the most popular decks. And then it was some sort of energy variant and Mono Red before the bannings all took place months ago. So it's something to keep in mind when you're going and playing for a qualifier or you're going to play your local game store, to kind of understand what the meta is like, understanding what side that you want to be on. Do you want to be in the top tiers? Do you want to be playing the what people conceive or perceive as the best decks in the format? Or do you want to build a deck or do you want to be playing the deck that goes against them and tries to grind a little bit better with them and hope that you can take those guys down versus playing against some of the other decks. And that's something you got to think of, and it's something that I've definitely learned in my years of playing Standard and even Modern before it came this format where you could play almost whatever you want and just have as much success as if you were playing the very best deck in the format or what people would think is the best deck in the format. And that's what I'm going to leave up to you guys as some kind of food for thought. What's honestly your favorite card to play in standard um that's kind of be my question is like what what do you like playing what format's your favorite what's your favorite card tell me what something about you even tell me about your dog i don't care we kind of want to be a little bit more social we kind of want to have some fun so leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more like this i'm going to be trying to come out with more videos every friday kind of like this helping out being a little bit more helpful than this but this being one of the stepping stones to becoming a better player and understanding why certain things are good and why sometimes always playing the best deck might not always be right. 
when the card pool in a certain format is right to try to grind against it rather than playing with it. And again, that's like an educated decision that you as a player has to make and understand that not always playing the best deck necessarily means that you're always going to win and that understanding your deck is always the most important thing above all even before you decide what deck you're going to play and that's going to be it for me i hope to see you guys very soon and i hope you guys enjoyed and are looking forward to more stuff like this we're going to be coming out with uh streams hopefully here next week i haven't gotten a chance to this past week so hopefully tuesday and thursday we can come up with some streams of some sort whether it's drafting masters 25 or playing some sort of video game i even thought about playing skyrim or something like that so Make sure you leave a like, keep an eye out for more videos kind of like this or some gameplay coming up here soon, and I will see you guys later.